Yes. This is me today, unfortunately. Members of the YAA, I too am a yoga addict, and like you, I wish to stay anonymous. Now, it gets worse because I'm addicted to the hard stuff. Bikram yoga, where you practice inhuman, inhumane bodily contortions for 90 minutes in 110 degrees, 110 percent humidity, in a tiny room crammed with 30 other yoga addicts. Now, I'm not sure, but I think that Bikram is ancient Sanskrit for seventh level of hell. <laughs> now, how do I know that I'm an addict? The first three characteristics of an addiction from the recovery literature, don't ask me how I know this, they are, <laughs> creates predictable, reliable sensations, becomes the primary focus, absorbs all your attention, and temporarily eradicates all pain and negative sensations. Let's take these one at a time creates predictable, reliable sensations. Well, my yoga practice and the sensations that follow are 100% predictable. I know what's going to happen. It begins simple enough with a breathing exercise. Though the first time, it did catch me off guard. I was expecting, I don't know, incense, candles, a Hindu yogi in full lotus, you know, legs crossed, saying something like, that I the breath. It is the rhythm. It is the vibration of old life. Yes. <laughs> old living things used to be. Therefore, to attain full potentiality in the yoga, we must breathe. Prana. We must replenish inner vitality. Please begin. Bikram is different. Bikram, you get toes on the line, feet together. Toes and heels touching, all ten fingers interlocked underneath the chin. Touching like glue all the time. Look in the mirror, concentrate, meditate. Inhale, head down, arms up, begin. Push your head back, exhale, all the way back. Elbows together, touching each other. Keep your eyes open. Inhale, head down, elbows up to the ceiling. Chest out, stomach in, spine straight, butt tight, look your lungs! A few minutes of this, and it's like, I realize that this is not your mom's yoga. This is, this is extreme yoga, and I like extreme. By the time we get to ego pose, sweat is streaming off every part of my body, my earlobes, my nose, my elbows, everything. Use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of this 90 minute torture, I mean practice, I'll assume this pose. That's exhausted, pitiful grown man crying like an infant. <laughs> also known as whiny baby man. <laughs> Next, an addiction absorbs all attention, becomes a primary focus. Well, when I'm not in the yoga, yoga studio, I'm thinking about yoga. Worse, when no one's looking, I'm practicing my own version of yoga. You've already seen. Waiting for the copy machine asana. <laughs> Though, if there's someone else in the room, I don't want to be that conspicuous, so I'll just stand there normally. <laughs> These copies are way too long. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello? <laughs> No, no, I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of something. Let me tell you that. Okay, thanks. 
It's embarrassing. I'm sorry. Where was I? Oh, yeah. It used to be the case I would just start doing yoga and not even realize it. I am so glad I've got that under control. That can be embarrassing. Now, finally, an addiction eradicates pain temporarily. Let me tell you, there is nothing, nothing as you forward is at the end after all the cruelty is behind you and you're laying in final savasana, dead body pose. I'm not making that up. <laughs> and the pusher, I mean instructor, opens the door to the outside and that first whoosh of cool, fresh air passes over that burnt out husk, formerly known as your body. And everyone says, namaste. Of course, I thought for the first few weeks, have a nice day. <laughs> Until my first night class. <laughs> so you see, members of YAA, I, I have a bit of a problem. But I know that when I join and I complete your 12-step prana asanas, I can have this beat. I can have it lit. I can have this down to nothing more than a healthy obsession. And this is unhealthy, not the obsession. But I know this as well. As yoga addicts, we need an occasional yoga fix. So I tell you what. You let me in, you come and see me after this, and, and I, I can hook you up with the good stuff. Really, really. Let me in, please. Thank you.